That's why they're fighting. And if you follow the stock market in the 154-pound division, then you are not lucky enough to time him that he can catch him. The speed should be the biggest advantage. Using the first round to box, try to stay away and get a look at Vargas. And Vargas is taking advantage against the southpaw. Others go for the straight right hand, and there Vargas. Here to get himself into this fight, is going to find himself out of this fight. Hasn't landed a punch yet. Takes some straight right hands from Vargas in his loss to campus. Well, definitely is a cut below the right eye of Marquez. After Vargas landed 20 power shots, and Marquez landed one of 20 total punches. Marquez has to try to do more. They do no good in the second half, which he has a history of. Vargas leaning away and then landing a counter right hand on the scoreboard. And Vargas taking his time, having it much his way, and hurting Marquez with power punches. Marquez, one of the things Marquez said before. And that's what's happening again tonight. <laughs> And much energy like this. Well, he do that. Marquez managing to find a way to land his jab. At no, he hasn't. He's got to get some, get some sometime. One in favor of Vargas. Harold, how do you have a three? Marquez eating Stromor. To me, he dramatically enhances his chances. Solid shot by Vargas to Bloodworth, who really does most of the day-to-day -day gym work. Looking for more head movement from Fernando. Energy, but you don't want to say that throwing a punch is the same. He's still very measured. He's not. Oh, good up. He's gotten crazy. Swelling spot under the left eye. We told you, swelled shut in December 1997 got against George Roe Campus. Rally there by Marquez, and he lands and told many people before the bout that he knows for sure that a Cuban fighter named Ibarra is playing, Jim. Well, like many, he said he doesn't believe Vargas can go 12 rounds. That's probably the fact that he's never been beyond seven. The question on by far, you saw the rally at the end of the round. It helped him to win by the fights. And Marquez is getting more active and more accurate against Vargas. And if Vargas lands a body punch, and better come back down and get himself back together before he finds himself on the canvas. He still lands at the moment that the mouthpiece dropped out. Body shot by Vargas. Low blow. Stoppage due to a fallen mouthpiece. Oh, here, here, here. Show, and Vargas. Showing his fury. Round up until now. Numerically, round six was the closest round of the fight. Vargas Land may have ensured that Vargas keeps his margin growing in the fight. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> Jamal gave round six to Raul Marquez. One round even, so Fernando Vargas with a big six-point lead. Raul Marquez is really going to have to come out. The here, huh? This will be the longest excursion of Fernando Vargas's professional career. Marquez with an uppercut after the straight right hand by Would it be good for Fernando at this stage of his career to have to go 12 rounds? Yes, it would be because of the show and giving the call. The Vargas, as he calls himself, will be a full-fledged middleweight. Most definitely. Eyes shut closed real tight after that punch. You know, the question now is... <laughs> yes, but I'm not calling a moon landing today. I gotta work with what I've got. I don't know if he's... Just a fight. Left-right combination by Vargas. He will performance, but not the kind of dynamic performance they're used to from him. Yeah, but that's what you get usually. In fact, that's what you hear virtually every time you see a guy like Vargas fight. What is it that George... insinuating that it's getting rough in here now. I think it's starting to hurt him a little bit more than it was early in the round. And Vargas is handling what he throws at him pretty well. And Vargas. Oh, that was nice. It's the third time in the fight that he's lost the mouthpiece. Good right hand. Harold, you got a comment on this mouthpiece thing? Yeah, Jim. The rule on it. And Thomas Hitman Hearns. 
Tyson had 19. Vargas had, opponent, had an opponent who was very easy for him to hit. Uh, David Reed had a guy. Some fighters you can't take out because they take a punch so well. Oh, there you go. Oh, and how well will Marquez take these punches? He may never have been in this much trouble either. And Vargas trying to finish him right now. The streak has a chance to stay alive. Too many power punches. Much too many. If you are patient, it will come. Hernandez, Hernandez. 